Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading will resonate with everyone. So take what fits, but leave the rest out. Okay, we have Eight of Fire. Events moving fast here with renewal. Review and evaluate. So uh, we have a period of change here, rapid change. Something's moving or improving very fast here. I'm also picking up that uh, someone is in a panic, needs to do something uh, really fast, okay? We have I love you with we will be together again. Yes, yeah, somebody is, uh, you know, overwhelmed with their emotions here, but knowing that they want to return, okay? But this is a brand new energy uh, that you've never felt before. It is a rebirth. Overall energy, we have the Seven of Swords. This is about keeping secrets here as well as keeping things hidden, okay? Also strategy as well. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have uh, energy shifting fast, okay? You're going to feel this. Feel very intense. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Death card. So it looks like this week, uh, a lot of things are shifting and changing, okay? For the better in your life, things that uh, really weren't serving you, possibly uh, people, things here. Uh, you really are evaluating this week. Uh, what you need to invest in as well as uh, what you need to let go of. But I see it's a really good week. Uh, you really do listen to your intuition and you make good decisions and choices here when it comes to finances as well as uh, people, relationships. Uh, you really are keeping a level head and things are starting to improve for the better. It's almost like this week there's a major shift where things improve especially things that you've been worried about for a while here. I do see in regards to your person, uh, you've invested a lot into this. You've spent so much time waiting as well as being there for this person without getting anything in return. And now it's your time to uh, reap what you sow here. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your person's energy. And I see you're, you're done with investing in things or people here uh, that don't benefit your life, okay? That cause more problems or chaos. You know, you really are focused on peace and stability at this time. We have the star, ace of swords, page of cups. Yeah, this person has to get something off their chest and fast. And it has to do with an apology here, making something right, doing right by you as well. Something was very, very unfair to you and was unjust, okay? It's showing up that they know they've done something here. Especially for a lot of you, it's in regards to communication, how they've treated you or what they've said here or haven't said. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. They need to come clear the air and... Uh, like I said, they are in a panic here, okay? Four of Pentacles, yeah. Something they've been keeping secret for a very long time, they need to reveal to you. Tell me the Page of Cups. They are, they've been longing for you as well, thinking of you uh, in a very positive light, knowing now you know how much you've done for them. With the Lover's card here, it's almost in a sense they haven't made a choice and they've caused more conflict than good in this connection. And now's the time to step up and do right by you. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. This might have been for some of you a taboo situation or uh, it might have felt there was so much going against this connection it seemed impossible for you two to be together. Not for everyone, but I am seeing for some of you here uh, because it's showing up that the person you're dealing with feels like uh, they've got some key in the hole now. They have a choice to make and they're allowed to make that choice, but they see uh, a way out. They see that they can achieve this here, okay? Become closer to you or just dedicate everything to you where they didn't feel like that here in the past. Judgment, Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands. So there's a lot of things they wanted to say and do in the past here, but I see a lot of things were messing with this person's mindset as well as what they could do in the physical realm. So if this is a third party or there is distance here, 
Uh, this is something that they felt they there was no good choice, okay, to be able to be together. It felt like uh, there was no way that you could. But with the Queen of Wands, they hold you in high regard and they see you as somebody that can always achieve greatness, but they don't feel like they're up to your speed and up to par. And uh, this gave in to a lot of fears and doubts that they had about themselves, even if they could be with you, if they would even make you happy when the time came. Tell me the judgment card. So in the beginning, it felt like, uh, you know, this was a romance of a lifetime, that you two were meant to be together. You were drawn together by something bigger. Uh, but it shows that it seems like to them they, that you came out of a dream, that you just appeared in front of them. Or for some of you that have known this person before, uh, it seemed like they were just in awe of the fact that you would even be attracted to them in that way. That you giving them this chance and uh, the fact that they felt like they couldn't uh, be good enough for you. And it seems like they were always trying to find a way out of a situation here or a mindset. Uh, to be with you, but something was just drawing them back. Okay, almost entrapping them here. Tell me the Sun card. Seven of Cups, Five of Cups. For a lot of them, it was their mindset, okay? Feeling as if they are not good enough, that no matter what, nothing really goes their way. They don't really make people happy, okay? This stems from uh, their childhood for some or things that they've learned in their life. It's a pattern or behavior that they depend on to keep them from making bad decisions or getting stuck in a situation where their feelings are hurt or they get heartbroken. Uh, tell me about the Knight of Cups. Two of Swords. All they wanted to do was to be free, to be with you the way that they wanted to here. But what I see is how they communicated with you was empty promises, okay? They said a lot of things, were charming at times, couldn't really make you feel as if you were, you know, on a pedestal here, queen of wands. But what I see is they never owned up to it. They never put any action behind it because I see as soon as they would say these things, they wouldn't show you stability. They wouldn't be consistent and show you that they care, right? So I see here that, you know, they didn't really speak their truth or give you affirmations of love, letting you know that they are really, truly interested in you still. Okay, so let's see what the challenge was here. So what I see uh, in a nutshell here is they were deceiving themselves, okay, that they could have what they want, uh, they could get out of any situation or environment, whatever uh, you are dealing with here, they could do that. It would just take them standing firm on their decision and following through with it here. Queen of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Queen of Swords. So you were very smart, okay, in this situation. You were reading through the lines, really seeing this person uh, for what they were. This made you set up boundaries, okay, to protect your heart here uh, because you felt like this person was never going to come around. They were never going to commit and be serious in this connection or make you a priority. And with you being this person that they depend on, okay, to stroke their ego or for support here, for some of you even financially, right, they really relied on your advice because they respected you and admired you for where you were at in your life at this moment. And with the temperance card, things were so off balance. There was no peace in the situation. You are constantly in this emotional upset, always feeling on the outs with this person that at times that's all you would focus on because you couldn't get it off your mind, right? And this person, you know, they wouldn't really take the time to even let you know that they still are there. They still do care, right? So this became very suspicious to you because the more that this connection went on, the more detached they became. And they may be charming at times or say some things that really uh, draw you back in, but there was nothing backing it up. And this made you feel uh, really devastated, almost as if they were playing with you here, trying to manipulate your feelings and keep you stuck in this situation. So you felt in the end they didn't truly care about you because they didn't think about your perspective and what you were doing sitting there, you know, worried and having anxiety over this connection. I do see for some of you as well, this is a third party. 
And there was somebody else uh, that was not approving of this. And this stopped the progression of this connection. And it breeded more fear and more doubts, okay, that they could even make you happy. That's a big factor here is this person feels like, uh, you know, you are someone so special that you deserve way better than them. Okay, so let's see what action they take this week. And I see in the current moment here, it's like something suddenly hit them. A light bulb has gone off. And uh, they're not letting anything stop them now. They're wanting to get something off their chest. Yeah, Tower, Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups. Get ready, Aquarius. Uh, we have an, an unexpected faded event happening. And you are going to find something out. Things are going to become very, very clear when it comes to how someone feels about you. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended we're going to go over exactly what this shocker is, what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time.